Kiss, I want to start with you here. Obviously, I grew up in the Manning-Brady rivalry era, so that's the best for me. But do you think when we're looking at the AFC right now, Mahomes and Allen could be the next? Nope, not at all. Because we're forgetting about Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. And I know Justin Herbert made an exit from the playoffs, but those are two young quarterbacks that will have something to say in the AFC going forward. I like the idea of the recreation of, of, of Peyton and Tom. I like the idea of seeing two teams battle it out every year in the playoffs at some point to determine who is going to go to the AFC championship or to the Super Bowl. But ultimately, we got the Cincinnati Bengals in the playoffs right now with a second-year quarterback. Like, Joe Burrow has done as much for his team as Mahomes and Josh Allen has done for their teams. And when you look at everything that's happening around this league, Joe Burrow got an elite receiver in Jamar Chase. He got another high-level receiver in T. Higgins. He has a tight end. This franchise is reinvigorated. They are starting to be what everybody thought they would be within that building with all of this young talent and getting the quarterback that they want. And do we forget what Justin Herbert did last mm -hmm. out? And I know they lost the game, and I'm going to put that on his head, Coach Staley, for always going for it on fourth down, making some terrible decisions along the way. Analytics, my tail. It's <laughs> Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes. Now, Patrick, Patrick Mahomes is the king of the crop. Don't get it twisted. Been to two Super Bowls, been a league MVP, thrown 50 touchdowns in one season. He's done enough to let us know that he's still the best guy and the top dog in the AFC. Oh, but they coming, and it ain't just Josh Allen. Well, you're wrong. Um, no surprise there. But I will tell you this. Explain this it to you, me. This, this, I, I'm about to explain it to you, and you're going to agree with me once I get finished with you, swag goo, because this is the whole point. This is the, this is the funny part about this that you're missing, okay? Nobody's debating Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow. You know how I feel about Justin Herbert. Mm -hmm. We all feel what we feel about Joe Burrow. You're absolutely right. But the reason why I tell you the Manning-Brady comparisons as it pertains to Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes are palatable. Uh, they, 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 there's something that we can stomach. You know why, Swagoo, in all seriousness? Because right now there's a legitimate argument that those are the two better teams. So, again, if Josh Allen, because we all know what Patrick Mahomes is and we know what the, what, what, what the Kansas City Chiefs are because they're the two-time AFC champions and they won a Super Bowl and he's won an MVP, all this other stuff. If Josh Allen were able to pull this off this weekend, then all of a sudden it elevates Buffalo, which I don't think you would deny. Here's the comparison, for example. Yeah. When we looked at Peyton Manning when he was going to a Super Bowl and losing to New Orleans or going to a Super Bowl and he was winning over the Chicago Bears, okay? We know that Tom Brady was there and relevant. Tom Brady and him went against each other 17 times. Tom Brady's got like an 11-6 record but lost a few playoff games to Peyton Manning. We get all of that. But also, Ben Roethlisberger was in the league in the AFC. Phillip Rivers was there as well. One year, I think the year that the Colts went to the Super Bowl and lost to New Orleans, San Diego Chargers, before they moved to L.A., they were 13-3. and three. Phillip Rivers, some people are saying mm -hmm. he's destined for the Hall of Fame. It's debatable in my mind, but that's a story for another day. The point is, both of them were high-quality quarterbacks within the conference, but the teams in Indianapolis and New England were better. So when I look at Buffalo and I look at Kansas City, I see Cincinnati and Burrow, and if Burrow gets Cincinnati, you know, to the AFC Championship game, that kind of stuff, and you know what, he knocks off these guys – this is a different argument. You're right. And, of course, if Justin Herbert comes back next year and does what he's capable of doing, because we know the reason the Chargers ain't in the playoffs ain't because of him. It's because of stuff around him. It ain't because of him. So it's no question about the quality of the quarterbacks. I'm not doubting that in terms of what you're explaining. I'm simply saying if you got two elite quarterbacks and their teams are better than those other two quarterbacks' teams, then that's what could make for a rivalry comparable to manning Brady. Okay, I, I, I hear you, but you under the assumption that things won't change. The Buffalo 2 offense, their offensive and defensive coordinator right now had interviewing for head coaching jobs. Mm -hmm. They trying to figure out if they still going to have the same staff. This thing changes year in and year out, S.A., 
But the one common denominator between mm -hmm. all of those things you just said is mm -hmm. that the quarterback remains. Right. Obviously, the franchises and the organizations are going to have to keep a similar structure in place. Kansas City has done it for a while. Eric B. Enemy, we've been screaming on this show. Me and you have been fighting to get him hired at yep. a new place. The dynamics change. But here's the thing, and what you just said. We never had Phillip Rivers and Ben Roethlisberger in the same conversation with Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. We never attributed their skill set and their ability to being like those two guys. I can do that with Justin Herbert and uh, no, Joe whoa, Burrow. Whoa, whoa. I can do that right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look, What's up? I, you're, no, no. I'm not saying that you're wrong because you're not wrong. But I'm saying the dominance of the New England Patriots and the dominance of Peyton mm -hmm. Manning on that level, that's what did that for them. And if Ben Roethlisberger, for example, it, when Ben Roethlisberger went against Seattle in the Super Bowl, he didn't play good at all. He so 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 we saw the yeah. limitations. Phillip Rivers couldn't even get the Chargers to to but one conference championship game. So we saw that. So when you talk about Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow, of course your argument is definitely absolutely right. Mm. If they can elevate them to that point, what I'm saying is, if Josh Allen beats Patrick Mahomes, right? and he knocks off those guys yep. because of what Mahomes already is. And Josh Allen elevates this team to a Super Bowl appearance. We're going to look at the greatness of Burrow. We're going to look at the greatness of Herbert. But what I'm saying is, to some degree, that's going to pale in comparison to Mahomes and Josh Allen because of the greatness of their teams. Yeah. And that's what's going to usurp but, but anything we're seeing from them. That's all I'm saying. At, SA, we, uh, we talk uh, the other two quarterbacks we're talking about in Bur Burrow and Herbert – they in their second year. I agree. Like I agree th with that. Th here's here's the point. Here's the point I'm giving you. There was not that level of quarterback play based on what we're seeing. Now I don't want to. I don't want people to go crazy and think Ben Roethlisberger is a Hall of Famer. Yes. Philip yeah. Rivers probably be a Hall of Famer as well. I don't want to. I don't want. But they weren't talented as these two guys. I'm talking about. Changed, like, like that is the difference for me. They are not as talented as a Joe Burrow and a Justin Herbert. We never. They weren't as protected like, when, when by the game well, as these guys like are now, too, though. Game softer. And say that's, that, 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 that goes in my way of the point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.